What's going on guys? We're back here out at another lake at another day. We're we throwing a little popper here. I haven't ever thrown a popper here before. In fact, I have not thrown a popper for largemouth at all this year. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I'm hoping we can get some fish. Let's check it out. Oh, I had a bite before. Oh man, I just got hit again. I'm getting hit every every pop. There's a fish. Oh, and he spit it. He spit it. All right, let's keep it going. Let's try, let's try this again. There we go. I got another one. Oh, he's running at me. Oh, it's a little guy. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. We're stuck. We are stuck here. This is, this is the risk. Oh, there we go. All right. First fish on the popper. Well, that's fun. Two casts, two fish. This lake is not known to me to have big fish, so you might be seeing a lot of these. It's all right, I'll take it. Oh, that fish hit it right here. This is a ton of fun. I had a feeling the popper would be getting them tonight. And it's awesome that it's on this new casking reel because Seriously, you guys can hear how the drag is working. I'm gonna probably retie and go with a straight braid. I got a little bit of a leader here, and I think that might be a bad idea. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good one. Oh my gosh, come on, bud. Wow. Oh, and I just broke off. I literally just broke off, so there's a good reason to retie to straight braid. And look how he wanted that too. This is gonna be a tough one to get out. It is down there. This is why you bring pliers. All right, guys. That is why you bring pliers. This is a nice fish. This is this is one of the bigger fish I've caught in this lake. Let's let him go. Well, I definitely need to take off this fluorocarbon leader. I know, you're saying, why did you have fluorocarbon tied on? Well, it's because I was too lazy to take it off. I think we're gonna light it up tonight. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, he just came off. I'm having a hard time getting them over this grass. Just these fish are, are spitting it. Ooh, that was a really good cast. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, I just missed one. A good blow up. I think that might be the first cast I've had where I didn't end up with a fish on. That's insane. Let's throw it out in the middle more. I almost never fish out in the middle. Because these weeds in the side and the edges of this lake just hold so many fish. You've got these thick lily pads in the side and this, this stuff right here. You've got reeds, but then underneath you've got this, this grass that goes out probably a good 10 to 15 feet. And then there's a, a fairly large drop off. All right, I might have caught I might have caught all the fish over here. Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna actually move, guys. We're gonna go to a spot that's more open where I can, I know I'll have better, better luck. Actually, we're gonna throw, we're gonna throw the double whammy. We got the popper going on one end. We got the weightless Senko on the other. Let's go.
for those fish that weren't fooled by the popper. There's a bite. Probably a bluegill though. There's another bite. There's it. There's a fish. Okay, well, so it's not going to be just a popper night. All right, there, another little guy. I'm telling you, this lake's got numbers galore. Just haven't caught anything over two pounds. Ah, oh, man. I just launched that Senko. Some fish is probably eating my bait out there. Going, man, this is yummy. I'm ready to go get more on this popper. Because no doubt, the popper is more fun than the Senko. How do I want to get down here? There used to be a path. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a big sticker bush. Ow. Fellas, I'm excited about this right here. All right. This is a Booyah Boss Pop. You guys saw me fishing with this not that long ago in the creeks for smallies. Got this in my May Mystery Tackle Box box. Oh, I just got wrecked. Oh, getting hit. Hit after hit, but I think they're just little bluegills. There we go. Now they're about the same size, little three quarters of a pound, maybe a pound at the most. They are in here. So are the mosquitoes. Oh my God. Okay. And what's so great about this? That's it. Watch this. Just gonna cast again. Oh, I already got hit. There's another one. This, guy, this one's even littler. Oh my goodness, this is a dink fest, but you know what? It's still fun. This isn't good. My line is in some bad places right now. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Oh, this might be actually be good. This fish might get me out of trouble here. Well, you guys died right in the middle of that fight. He spit me right at the shore, which is honestly not a bad thing. That cast was in a bad place, and I very easily could have got hung up to the point where I couldn't have got this back. So I'm perfectly okay with that fish coming off. It was small. I don't think it was over a pound. There are plenty, plenty, plenty more fish here to catch. This feels like a little better one, although he's caught up in some weeds. Ooh. Yeah, this is a better fish. This is a better fish. Whoa, bud. Whoa, whoa. None of that. Wow, you're fat. That's a, not a bad fish. That's about a pound and a half, pound and a quarter maybe. Fat. I'll take that. That's fun. I don't know what we got. We're at like four or five fish now in 20 minutes. And we've lost like three more. And we've had like five other bites or blow ups. Just wish they were five pounders, not uh, five ounces. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, just got bit. Come on, man. There we go. Right in the weeds. Oh. Oh, I got like a, I'm dragging in. I'm dragging it in. Listen to that drag. Do I even got a fish on here? Did he spit me? No, I got one on there. Oh, geez. Look at that. We got a five footer. This one's as tall as me. Whoa, killer. I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, you're feisty. Whoa, whoa, no, no, no. I see it. I see what you're trying to do. Yeah, that's right. 
He was trying to make sure I went home with a Pearson. I haven't really gone into it, but how do you fish a popper? I honestly, it couldn't be more simple. So floating bait, you just cast it out, you let it sit there, let the ripples go away. On slack line, you just kind of give it a couple, couple little twitches. Vary your retrieve. Twitch, 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 pause. You can pause it for a long time. There's an infinite amount of ways you can fish this thing. That's what makes it so great. You just kind of have to figure out what the fish want. I'm doing kind of this random twitch, twitch, pause cadence. Now it is a little bit slower style of fishing, but I mean, I think the slower presentation actually just irritates the fish more and you get more bite. Like that, just like that. I mean, I don't know if I could have scripted that any better. Yeah, we couldn't have scripted that any better. That, that was, I don't know, what is that? A couple of feet in front of me? Look at that fish. Let's let him go. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck on a plant. I hate these stupid things. You ever get stuck on these in the shoreline and your freaking line won't come off? It's maddening. I just got pulled underwater. It's so weird. I'm just, bitch just sitting there and just like a bobber, all of a sudden it's just going under. These bluegill are just coming up and grabbing the tail and pulling it under. So really, I mean, this is a great summer bait for those warm, warm days. You got low light conditions, like in the evening right now or early morning. You don't have too much chop on the water. I mean, you could fish this with some chop, but I personally like, uh, I get to be pretty smooth because I think it's a more subtle, subtle action bait. Like that. Oh, that was fun. Oh, he hit it right on the first pop. This is actually a good fish. Again, not a giant, but okay, bud. Let's calm down. Definitely not a giant fish, but a ton of fun. I think we're going to move. Oh yeah. I'm feeling this spot. Yeah, it was not a great cast. I don't know, actually, that's not that bad. It's, it's not super close, but a very successful spot I've had. Oh, there he goes. I didn't even pop it. What the heck? All right, it's bluegill time. I thought it was going to happen at some point today. I have hooked a bluegill. Oh, but he wasn't hooked that bad though. And this is a bluegill. A lot of people would give me flack for my panfish identification, but that is a bluegill. I'll let you go, little buddy. Oh, he was ready. There we go. Oh, I got a bite. I got a bite. 10 inch worm. First actual cast with a 10 inch worm. And we got a bite. This is the start of my summer arsenal right here. You guys are witnessing it. Couldn't get a bite on the popper. Couldn't get a bite on the weightless Senko. Throw the 10 inch worm. Catch a small fish. That is on this 10 inch Berkeley power worm the ribbon tail which actually a portion of the tail has been bit off I mean, this thing has been beat up caught a number of fish yesterday punching and i got this with a woo tungsten quarter ounce tungsten weight shout out to woo that is what i'm talking about you all have those spots that you're just so confident you're gonna catch fish that you just you just know it somewhere here i'm catching a fish i just know it I don't know if it was a bass or a bluegill, but. Oh, this is a good one. And by good, I mean good by this lake standards. Okay, bud. Hey, 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 hey. This might be the biggest of the day. So again, it's not saying much. It's not like we're catching giants. It's actually a pretty hefty fish. I mean, look at, look at their bellies. These are awesome fat fish. It's great. I'm pretty sure I will catch a fish over here. 
I just don't know if I'm gonna get that fish in. Like right there. Okay, so this is a little fish. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him through. Hey, how about that? I'm actually kind of happy it was little. Okay, again, fat little fish. All right, we're gonna go to the next spot because I'd actually like to get there with a little bit of daylight left. Okay, well, here we go. This is for all the marbles right here. Okay, and this is gonna be dangerous. Here we go. I got one. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good one. Uh oh. Oh my god. This is a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a giant. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy cow. But that is a four plus pound fish. <sighs> Guys, what was I saying? There's no big fish in this lake and this <laughs> near the very end is a toad. This seriously is an absolute tank of a fish. Oh my God, you smell good too. Thank you, buddy. You give me hope that there are some toads in this lake. And we almost, we almost didn't get that fish. This is why you throw braid. Braid, braid, braid. All right, we're gonna throw right back over there. I didn't even twitch that bait. He hit it, jumped with it. I mean, that was, that was unreal. There's another one. Same spot. Same spot. Oh man. That one we got over a little bit easier. A little bit smaller of a fish. So fun. The only problem now is we got some mosquitoes. There we go. All right. He's a dark fish. Fat too. I don't know, how many fish are we gonna catch on this thing tonight? What is that? 10, 12, 15, I don't even know. These mosquitoes are terrible. That's it, fellas. That is all she wrote. That is the end of a great night pond fishing. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I don't know, what did we do? We spent uh, maybe an hour and a half working our way around this lake and we probably caught 15 fish and a four pounder. Biggest fish I've caught in this lake by far. We got one on the Senka. We got one on the, uh, the 10 inch worm. Overall, just a good summer night of fishing. Go check out a popper. I happen to get this one in my main mystery tackle box. I appreciate you tuning in. We're gonna be heading home now. If you like this kind of video with these how-tos, these more specific bait challenges or days where I go fishing, let me know. Leave a comment below. Please leave a like. Please subscribe to this channel. If you have not already, I promise you're gonna like some of that content and there's plenty more coming from Mr. Windy City Bass in here. So thanks again, guys. This is Windy City Bassin, signing out. Woo woo. You can see up my nose. Maybe not, it's probably too dark. Are you fishing? You're having a good day and you look down at your camera and you're just like, what? I wasn't recording? I, you all have to know what I'm talking about here. 
So I have this thing. They gotta invent a phobia of it now. Like a name for it. I have this fear that my camera isn't on. It's a real phobia. I'm always, I'm like panicking. I can't see I'm looking down like, what? Is my camera on? Is my camera on? 